what is up guys welcome to another trip to the thrift this is number 72 if you're enjoying these videos please hit that like button subscribe if you are not already and drop a comment most likely i will respond so let's get out there and hopefully we can find some good stuff this week all right the one thing that i have found so far is this seattle sounders jersey long sleeve with the xbox um this one's only 3.99 size small though for $5.99 we got the Ralph Lauren size medium Espana <laughs> polo shirt Spain and then on the back you got big 43 the 2006 NBA finals tee but as a Mavericks fan we do not speak of this one the X bone shirt for $1.49 I remember in high school everybody was wearing Ed Hardy will it ever come back probably not Here's this Texas Motor Speedway Interstate Batteries inaugural race from April 6, 1997 snapback. It still has like the cardboard like it's new, but it is a little dirty. I guess it like fell on the floor or something, but it's only 95 cents. The NWO tee, it's on a gilding tee for $2.99 to 3 XO or else I'd get it for myself. Some mid-top Roshis, these kind of look weird. All right guys, so I'm actually driving out of my way today. I think it's like 30 minute drive from my house. So I'm hoping that it's open because today is Halloween. Uh, I probably should have called beforehand, but oh well. I guess we'll find out when I get there. <laughs> this store has all this anime. They got a lot and then in these things down here at the bottom, there's all the Dragon Ball Z, like the box sets loose. For a dollar each, we got Smash Bros. Brawl. Wii Sports, but it's actually Mario Kart. Inu Yasha on the PS1, which is cool. And then this box set is only a dollar, and all the discs are in there. For 10 bucks, I got these white tubulars. And then they also have the black pair, but they're really small. 3M Tiffany Stan Smiths. These are pretty dope. We got the Sturgis for a dollar seventy-five Harley shirt, but it's really stained up and it has holes all in the bottom, which sucks. And there's the back. Found this Logo Seven shirt. It doesn't have the size on it. It looks like a large, but it's from 1986. And I hit the John Cena mother load. We got two youth ones, two youth XLs, and then I got three men's XLs, the Rise Above Hate one, the green one, and the red one. <laughs> I also got this Nautica sailboat shirt. Um, in really good shape too. These low metallic fives for 20 bucks, size 7Y. They're kind of beat up. They also got these sweater sevens for 20, but these are really beat. They need a lot of work. These are size nine. And then the double nickels for 20 bucks, size six and a half. They also got these Venoms, but there's no price on these. These are size five and a half. So I just came out of this store. Uh, this is what I picked up for $2.99. I got a black label Resident Evil 2. There's no manual, unfortunately, but it was only three bucks. So I picked that up. And then I picked this one up for $7, I think it was. Uh, the Simpsons game, which this is kind of a hard to find game on the PS3 and the 360, so seven bucks for this is not bad. I think it still sells for like $25. So um, I'm about to go to Play Doh's, and then after that, I'll probably head home for the day. We are here at Play Doh's, so uh, let's see what we can find this week.
These things are like boats in my hands. Obviously the best thing they have in here. Not shoes, but I just found this Reebok San Jose Sharks. Brand new with tags. Size small. They want... It's brand new with tags. You see it retails for 130 They want 16 bucks for it. I found this big pony polo shirt. It's a size small for $3.99. It's like this weird fading green to yellow color with the big orange pony. They got a PS1 for $30, but those are pretty worthless. Here's a 1992 Alabama Crimson Tide when they were undefeated, I guess, 13 and 0. I found this grizzly, like grizzly grip tape, this bad new bear. I don't know. I just really like the the graphic on it, and it's only 95 cents. It's a size small though. I found this shirt for a dollar 49 size large. I have no idea what it is though. <laughs> Size medium. I'm picking this up for my sister. It's $2.99. Dan and Phil. She's uh, real big into them on YouTube. I just found these cutting jade LeBron 7 or 7 size 7 LeBron 10s. These are like one of my favorite colorways of the LeBron 10s, but they're size 7, which sucks. And they're 10 bucks. And they also got these Sunset Air Max 90 like hyperfuses for 20 bucks, size 12. The little last shots, 14s for only $6.99. The Washington Redskins crew neck, size medium for $4.99 by Spectator Sports from 1994. Cool crew neck, crappy team. The Golden State shirt for $2.99. This is our year with their number, everybody's numbers. The Dale Earnhardt Jr. for 65 cents, size small front and back tee. And there's the back. I found this Gary Merrick shirt. It's a dollar thirty-five. It's a size medium. It's printed on a Screen Star shirt, um, but it's from 1983. And I thought he was like an artist or something, but I looked it up and he's a musician. So probably gonna grab that. Here's a Tommy Hilfiger denim sweater. It's a size large. It's four ninety-five, but it's actually half off of that. And then the Pink Floyd for a dollar ninety-five liquid blue shirt. $15. I found the Tommy Hill figure outdoors jacket. Also found this Ralph Lauren Polo 2XL, still new with tags for $3.95. This like sailboat shirt. We have the bootleg Tommy Sports shirt printed on a Hanes for $1.95. The Reagan Bush tee for $1.95. This actually reminds me of Stranger Things too. I actually just finished watching this season. I found this Key West tee right here for 65 cents. As you can tell by the tag, it's pretty old. Made in the USA for the loom. But it has like this big patch on it. This um, flannel patch. I thought it was pretty cool. The colors. And then I also found this Baylor crew neck by Sandnit, which I could be wrong, but I want to say this is from the 80s. It's for $2.99. Uh, maybe you guys can let me know if it's really that old. We have the NBC Experience size 2XL for $1.95, the ER shirt from 1999. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really salty right now because check out this shirt I just found, size large, still new with the tags, CM Punk, authentic. The problem is I wear XL. This is a size large. That's what I'm salty about. And um, it's really frustrating <laughs> considering he's like one of my favorites of all time. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, please like the video or dislike it, whichever you want to do. There are a couple people that do hit that dislike button as soon as I upload it, but it's cool because as long as you're taking the time out to watch the video, it's fine with me. Do whatever you want. Subscribe if you're not already and drop a comment. Most likely I will respond and I will see you guys next week with another one. So, later.